is a lot, right? Because really I'm showing three techniques instead of one. We normally show one in the all level class. We run through it a lot and then we get live reps. But really it's the three in sequence that make it work, right? He's going to stop probably the first one, um, maybe the second one, hopefully not the third, right? So I'm here, he's got these butterfly hooks in. And again, I wouldn't want to be here. I would, I would much rather be out here planking on it. It's like he caught me here. Okay, now, now I've got to work from here. Collapse the, the leg, pummel in. I've got to step all the way into the back of the knee. If I'm here, there's space for him to come through. He can bring that left heel back through, right? If I come here, now he can. It's, the, the door is closed. But if I'm there, the door is open. Does that make sense? So that's why it's really important. That's why I'm coming over and saying, kick him in the back of the knee here. And then I also, I'm not going all the way down to this knee right off the back. I'm not showing him my cards. I'm going here. If he doesn't block that knee, we do what we just did. And I'm not trying to staple his armpit with this knee. I want to get it to his head. See how I'm like rotating in here? As I pass that. Sucks. The elbow on the on that skin right there. It's like the most annoying jujitsu injury ever. Sorry. All right. So knee pummel. Boom. I come in. He blocks that knee. He's starting to block it. So here I'm looking to jump sides. I'm gonna bring this in and people who you know take care of each other. We don't we don't want to be sliding through the middle and smashing everything in there, right? I'm going to jump all the way back to the other side. He starts to frame here. I'm going to look to beat this with an underhook here, planting my fist in his armpit. I go fist rather than hand so I can hurt his arms again. No, <laughs> just so I don't jam up, my, jam up my hand. And then I'm cutting back across. And I would like to collect this frame. My head is low and I'm cutting all the way through. That's the cross. That's the one, two. Twist or pass, I start. If he blocks it, I immediately cut through to the opposite side for my far side knee cut. The jab is here. Boom, up here, but he's blocking it. Back through, collect the frame, slide through. All right, I would like to be here in a perfect world. Questions on what we're doing? I'm, 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 I'm not smashing it, right? I'm over here in the back of his knee and I'm targeting his inner thigh. Can I say one thing while you're, you do that? Yep. So when Connor's here and I'm defending, I'm blocking his knee. So when he crosses, this knee is still, I'm still blocking the knee the whole way across. So I'm protecting my thigh. So he's keeping just it off. Of <laughs> yeah, Does that make sense? He's protecting the jewels, right? And I'm shooting through here. If if he's you know still framing here, I'm gonna try to collect those frames. I'm gonna leave my head low. If my head's up here, he's gonna catch it with his legs. Right? I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna keep my head low. And then again, I want my weight on him. Question. Let's play with it. One, two. 